Hey guys, it's Dean here. What comes to your mind when I say North Korea? Some of you may think it's a totalitarian land where there's nukes every square inch there. And if you piss them off, they'll nuke your content for the glory of North Korea. Or some of you might think they're just people, people drinking ice like Japan. Well, as you can see, those are examples of a stereotype. Stereotypes are a widely held but fixed and oversimplified image regarding a group of people or an individual. While some people use this for comedic value, stereotypes actually affect the world in a lot of ways. For example, from a uh, common belief in high school would be, if you wear glasses, you are smart. While it is likely that people who wear glasses are smart, it's poor logic to believe that all glass-wearing people are smart. Another example here would be law enforcement, racial profiling. It's targeting individuals for suspicion of a crime based on their ethnicity, race, sex, or age. Politicians too use stereotyping as a means to garner the attention and support of their followers. A very famous example of this would be Donald Trump. He uses stereotypes as a way to relate to the people and get them to vote for him. Some of his tweets are comedy and value, for example. I have never seen a thin person drinking Diet Coke. Well, some of those tweets may be for laughs, but he, he is sometimes trying to make a point. 26,000 unreported sexual assaults in the military, only 238 convictions. What did these geniuses expect when they put men and women together? This tweet shows the stereotype that military men are sexually deprived. And this tweet is even more radical. It reads, It's a Democrat's total weakness and incompetence that gave rise to ISIS, not a tape of Donald Trump that was an admitted Hillary lie. It could be that his party sees Democrats as incompetent leaders. Your reaction would be, what the heck? That's pretty discriminatory. Well, you're right. One of the cons of media is stereotyping. Stereotyping tends to give a particular group of people a negative image. And even if it does have a positive, there's a positive stereotype, for example, Asians are smart, it still somehow affects them negatively as well. Because if an Asian, um, let's say the Chinese people, very particular, um, has a learning disorder, Many foreign teachers might think that he's pretty lazy. In conclusion, stereotypes are bad because they tend to offend a particular group of people and makes them lose their sense of individuality when they're in a foreign place. The only way to stop this is to educate ourselves about other cultures and refrain from judging people by what they are, where they come from, and what they look like. Judge them by what they do. Oh, and think twice before I tweet. Don't be like Trump. Peace out.